Annapolis police officer Derek Chauvin spent his first full day in prison after he was found guilty yesterday of murdering George Floyd. Chauvin's conviction is energizing the movement for police reform. WBZ's Christina Hager's in Boston, where demonstrators say it is time for equity and change. The group mass action against police brutality on the steps of the Massachusetts State House. No justice, no peace. Members say justice in Minneapolis is one thing, but they want police reform in this state. One of the things they're demanding is to reopen past cases of police brutality. So um, you're going to hear from all the ones that are here. That, and all across the country, um, you know, we feel like these, uh, these cases aren't being prosecuted. In Fields Corner today, the relief from the Derek Chauvin murder verdict hangs over the neighborhood. I'm, I'm glad that, you know, justice was served, so we still got a long way to go. Better than where we were nearly a year ago, but not over. His death is not going to go down in vain. He attacked a baby. The fatal police shooting of a teenage girl in Ohio, moments before the verdict, hits other teens of color all the way here in Fields Corner. There's still too many police that are killing innocent people of color and minorities, and this is just a drop of water in a sea of hatred. The Reverend Eugene Rivers plans a trip to Minneapolis next month. The city should be preparing for the summer. Another COVID summer. To meet with black leaders there and bring lessons learned back to Boston. I call on the mayor to convene the clergy and religious leaders of the city to avoid and re or reduce the likelihood of something like that happening here. This group has rallies planned throughout the spring and the summer. They say they plan to keep this message going strong. At the State House, Christina Hager, WBZ News.